morning friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. And it's about quarter to seven in the morning. I have to take a trip to town. I actually have a little jacket on, it's my son's. I just put it on because I have that little tank top on and if I go into stores and places I don't generally like to walk in there like that. Uh, but this never used to fit me. Now it's a little baggy on me. It's hard to see right now. Which uh, just made me smile this morning. Not that it didn't fit me, it was on me, but it was tight. Now it's not tight, so hip hip hooray. Anyways, I forgot somebody's uh, sandals in there, so I've got to go get them. But we're going to stop and get a coffee when we go into town, that's for sure. So I'll be back. Alright friends, well it's quarter after eight. I'm home, I had my coffee, the kids are still sleeping. Um, I hear Mazaya up there, she'll be coming down here for in a minute for breakfast and stuff. But I got my husband's coffee here waiting for him on the table. Anyways, a little one goes for a visit today and sometimes, depending on the circumstances, you need to send a lunch, sometimes you don't. But for this little one, I do. So I chunked up some cheese, uh, three sl four slices of cucumber, and cut those little um, cherry tomatoes in half. So some in there. Here's half of a jam sandwich with my homemade jam three crackers and some raisins and I'm going to put a banana and a cup of nice cold water in there too so there'll be some snacks or a lunch if they need it so yeah that's uh, that's what I'm doing now that goes on I have one of those cool lunch boxes and yeah off to the races another thing we do is I have a communication book and this doesn't happen with all kids but some families we have kids here like to have a communication book so we can write little updates any milestones and everything so that's what I'm just doing now and then uh, yeah I'm just trying to map out the rest of my day what I want to do it depends on depends on how everybody's feeling so we'll see but before I do anything else I gotta empty this full dishwasher full of clean dishes so I can load up any straggle dishes left over from last night so Hip hip hooray. Alright friends, well it's 20 to 11. I just got out of the shower. I was, I didn't get a shower in last night. I meant to, but I got really tired and just went to sleep. So I had one just now. Most of that laundry is brought upstairs. Uh, I just checked the fridge. We're out of eggs. I forgot, so I can't bake anything right now. <clears throat> but all the kids are up now. They've had breakfast, and well, Mally's still asleep, but I think she stayed up later upstairs in her room. So she's one that you got to let her sleep, or she is the biggest grouchy bear in the whole wide world. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let her sleep for now. But yeah, it's really sunny outside. A good day to hang out laundry. So I'm gonna start on that, even though I just got done. Um, folding all the other laundry. I have another monster growing in there so I want to try to tackle that today so I can get all the laundry in the house done that I can get done today and put away and everything like that. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal but it's a huge deal to me. I just can't stand. can't stand. I don't mind washing. I don't even mind hanging out. I just hate folding and putting away and the kids help but yeah. I have a great big block on that so I'm really pushing myself today so I'm glad you guys are here to motivate me and keep me accountable so yeah I'll be back in a little while oh guys I'm out of breath <laughs> I just got done taking all the garbage out from around the house it's garbage day today and usually that's my son's job but he had another sleepover last night so it's all done it's all out and we have a ton of recycle bags which is always nice to see phones ring and I'll be back all right guys it's 11:57, so i got to think about lunch now and in my freezer i had leftover stuff this is leftover french fries leftover two chicken burger patties and a handful of chicken nuggets so i'm going to do this all up on the plate so i can feed let me think five kids and I'm gonna make it work because I still got some sliced cucumber in there and some salad stuff that I can put on top of this if they need it. Alright guys, well it's 
121. The kids have all eaten. Mally's had a shower. She's going to go into town here shortly because she's going down for a sleepover with her auntie. And I've been thinking a lot about back to school and snacks and prepping. And when I go to France, I want to have a bunch of stuff prepped when I go to France. This stuff isn't for France, but it's for school starting next Wednesday, I believe. So I have this big bag of popcorn. I bought it for Misha's birthday party, but we didn't end up using it. So I'm going to, I've done this before, you guys have seen it, but I have these $1.25, there's 60 bags in a box, little snack bags. I'm going to divide them all up, my hands are clean. I'm going to divide it all up so it's easy when I throw it in lunches and uh, I don't have a giant bag of popcorn sitting in my laundry room staring at me in the face. So this way I can have it all ready to rock. For next Wednesday, I'm going to listen to my audiobook. Oh, the battery's almost dead, for heaven's sakes. And, uh, yeah, I'll see how many bags I can get out of it. I forget. I've done this before, but I forget how many actually, uh, actually come through. So, yeah, it's not a great big, massive, it's just like a little bag. It's not even as big. It's like the half, half the size of a sandwich bag, so... And I got a big box of raisins in there too. I'm going to do the same thing to that. Whether I do it today or not, I don't know. But there'll be some snacks for school lunches because if you've been watching me for a while, I can't stand packing school lunches. It drives me insane. But you got to do it, right? My kids got to eat. And yeah, this is a cost efficient, this giant bag. I think it was two or three dollars. Does it say on it? Two or three dollars just at the Dollarama like the kind you get at the theater, you know. All right, let's speed her up. raisins. I got 29 individual servings of raisins. I have another full bag of this, but I'm not going to use it for this because I'll use them for my oatmeal raisin cookies and stuff this fall. But yeah, it was just like a small handful of raisins. I didn't count how many I have of this. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. 46 things of popcorn, so that's not too shabby. Now I'll store these probably in a couple baskets I have out there, but this is one thing off my list for next week, and it's not a hard job, it's just one that, you know, it's tedious, it's a pain in the butt, but it's all done, and it saves a lot of money, so there we go. So I just put them in the big, big Ziploc bags and uh, yeah, now I can store them safely in my laundry room on the pantry shelf. Yeah. Alright, as I was putting those in there, I found these two. These have been sitting there all summer. They're kind of like goldfish crackers, just little tiny crackers. I think I'm going to divide these up too, so they'll be uh, all ready. They're only $1.50 for a big tub instead of whatever goldfish are. I'm sure they're a little bit more expensive, but these are going to work out perfect, so I'll show you. Look who came over to help me. Evie did. <laughs> he wants some crackers. All right, the crackers are all done. And I got 33, so the those will go the in the laundry room and they'll be ready for school. Maze. The cloud is in the end of the 
raisin in the popcorn. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's 2.30. I have Mally bringing her to town. My husband's home. Medea and Evie are still here. So we'll go in and I have to stop to Papa's house, at Dad's house, to help him with his computer. And I think my sister's there, so I'll get a chance to see her too. So I'll be back when we get a little closer to town. All right, well, we just pulled into the little Tim Hortons. What are you getting, Mally? Chocolate eclair. Uh, no. And a tea. A tea, you can no. get a tea. Donut tea. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna get my second coffee of the day. Cause I think I, uh, I think I need one, and then we're supposed to meet her auntie here at the superstore parking lot, and she has my teenager, so we're swapping kids, and she's gonna take Mally down to her other aunties, and yeah, so on and so on and so on, and then Marquise and I will spin into Dad's. He'll probably want to go right home, but I'm like, no, we gotta go in and help Papa, and then we'll, then we'll go home. So yeah. Anyways, this coffee's gonna be good. Well, I just got home. I had to make a impromptu stop back home, and now I'm going back to town. I'm taking my husband's car, though, because one of my backlights are out, and I don't need the popo -po pulling me over. But my daughter brought over some stuff from the old house, and my son is helping her unload the truck. I used to beer a whole bunch of homebrew. She used to beer. I did, and I got these boxes made for a case of beer, but I'm going to keep them in case I ever do that again and just put them down in the basement. So, yeah. All right, let's hit the road again. All right, friends, well, it's a quarter to four, so I'm actually stopping to Frenchies. I wanna go in there and get the boys um, a few more t-shirts, the little boys. And uh, I still need to stop to the grocery store, but I might do that after I go to my dad's. So yeah, I just thought I'll stop here, spend a few minutes, and then zip over to my dad's and see my sister and my dad and have a good a good chat and stuff like that so I'll show you what I get at Frenchies after I get home later on all right we made it to my dad's Ooh. it's raining out now well not right now but it's like spitting rain so yeah I'm glad I didn't hang clothes out on the line they'd be all wet hi Hi. Well, my dad's computer's all tuned up. Uh, it's funny, my sister and I always have a good giggle and stuff, because not that I'm a big technical person, but I'm a little more technical than she is. So, <laughs> anyways, it was fun, and it's all fixed up. So, yeah, I'm going to have a, a little visit, and uh, then we'll keep on moving. <laughs> she saved the day. <laughs> all right, guys, well, it's quarter after five. I just left my dad's and now I'm in the superstore parking lot. So I'm going to spin in there, pick up a few things, and then we're homeward bound. All right, guys. Well, I've been home for a little while. I hear thumping and bumping upstairs. Just a minute. There, we'll see. Now I heard thumping and bumping up there. I didn't know if they were just playing or fighting, so. Oh, whew. Yeah, it's 6.53 now. My husband just left, and I thought I'd show you what I got at Frenchie's. I got a big bag. But I got some really good news when I got home. A friend I haven't seen in over 20 years messaged me, and she is staying right across the road from me tonight. So we're going to hook up. I'll either go there or she'll come here. But I haven't seen Shalina since high school honestly so exciting so exciting so what I got was a pair of little blue pants these are for the little boys in the house and a little button-up shirt could go together or the shirt could go with jeans or whatever I got a bunch of t-shirts really what I got this one player three has entered the game this is a snap under the bottom one because I have one little boy here that loves to take off his diaper, so. <laughs> and he's not quite ready for potty training. I'm starting to potty train a little bit, but it's not quite there. I thought I'd try Maze and this other little one at the same time, but he's taking a little longer to catch on. Another little one. Another t-shirt. It says, 
Just Kicking It, Kickball League Champs, with a little elephant on it. Don't let this cute face fool ya. Gatorland must be a place I'm thinking in Florida or something like that. When I think of gators, I think of down south, like, well, in Florida and whatever. Whatever. Super charged. I hardly even read what some of these t-shirts were. I was like, oh, that, that'll fit them. That'll fit them. Chicks dig me. Has a little chick on it. And this one is a hoy little mate. Like a hoy matey. Uh, together we can rule the galaxy. That's a Star Wars one. I'm going to throw these all in the wash tonight. I actually picked up some laundry detergent because I was out. A pair of cute little jeans. Hardly worn. The feel brand spanking new. A pair of splash pants. Uh, this is a t-shirt but it has a little hood. All star with little baseball buttons on it. A pair of shorts. Another under the bottom snapper. Just has a dump truck on it. Just a white t-shirt. We'll see how long this stays white, to be honest, with little boys or girls. White clothes don't stay white for very long. Nautica. Is that what it says? Yeah, Nautica. Must be a brand. Well, I don't know what happened to all their t-shirts. I mean, they still have some, but they got so dirty over the summer and stained and lost and worn swimming and everything like that. I have to do this probably every three or four months. Go do another haul of little kid clothes. They're rough on clothes, you know, they really are. A pair of black, or not black, brown, like khaki material pants. pair of sports shorts and I got a little tank top all-star just a pair of blue shorts I know they'll only be able to wear shorts another well probably into September but you know as as it gets cooler they're not going to need them anymore but that's why Frenchies is so good I'm not spending an arm and a leg buying $15 shorts. I'll spend a dollar fifty or whatever. And a white and yellow striped one. Now I got Mally three pairs of jeans. Now this isn't going to show all the way, but they're all blue jeans. Um, they're size six, so they, they do fit her. They're a smidge big, but it's hard. It's hard to find ones. I can't get kid size jeans anymore. And uh, Sorry guys, my battery died. Yeah, she can't wear kid jeans anymore. So the other jeans I got her at Valley Village when I was up the valley two weeks ago, something like that. They were like size five, six, seven. And so I got a couple pairs of size six because um, I just need to get a little belt for them because she's tall. And she's um, she's not like big. Well, you guys know, you see her, you see her. But she's growing up, so another pair. Let me see what these brands are. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. I didn't if it's the singer or dancer. I didn't even look. I was just looking for jeans. What are these ones? Gloria Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt? These ones are premium skinny boot cut. So, yeah, pair of jeans. They're in good shape. So, that's what I got. That's what I got. Now, I got a thing of laundry soap. I got a box of diapers, a couple of cucumbers. I went into Superstore specifically to get milk and eggs, and those are the two things I forgot to get, for goodness sakes. 
And Dad sent out a bag. Don't bring that in. Might be out here. You know how I never leave Dad's empty-handed. No matter what. I never ask him for stuff, but he always has a bag of goodies. They were out in the porch because the kids were just eating supper when I got home. They had barbecued steak and some vegetables. He sent out a thing of freezies. Now this must the kids must have had some at his house, but he's just getting rid of them. So a thing of freezies. Oh papa. A thing of Cheetos. Funny. Lollipops. So I've got to hide some of this stuff because all the kids would just want to eat all that right away and it's not happening. Some puddings. Chocolate puddings. No sugar added. Some bear paws. That's the French side. He gave me a schedule to the Wharf Rat Rally that's in town there of all the events going on. And stuff, I, I don't generally go to all the different events that go on during War Fret Rally. There's a lot. There's a ton. It's just, it's so jam-packed. That's the busiest time. That's the most full our town, like the town ever is. The whole year, honestly. And not even over the holidays or scallop days or lobster bash. They're busy times, but War Fret Rally tops them off when it comes to how many people come to that area. People rent their front lawn so people can camp on them and stuff. It's, it's bananas. It's a really good time. When I used to work down at one of the group homes, um, I would work over Wharf Rat Rally. And not that I would go out in a boat, but it was right smack dab downtown. And they had the block, the roads blocked off and stuff. I could get down with my vehicle because I worked downtown. But besides that, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite something. <laughs> so... I, last year, I do have a video of taking the girls down and maze down just one evening down the strip and up the other side of the strip. So if I can find that, I'll put that down below because I thought it was a pretty cool video just so you can see a little glimpse. And I might try to do that with the kids again this year, but um, I'll do it like Friday night or Saturday night or something like that. So we'll see. Another thing Dad sent out, he sent it for my son. Uh, he said he meant to give it to him before, like before summer, but he says... A thousand and one ways to take initiative at work. Dad likes to go to Frenchies and thrift shops and stuff. He doesn't go buy a whole bunch of stuff. That's just, it's part of his daily routine to just go, go window shopping. But he'll pick up books and different things. And uh, yeah, he found that one for my son. So it's create opportunities, self-leadership, the toolbox, real life success stories, managing up, develop and sell your ideas. So, I'll give that to Marquise. Well, I'll say it's from Papa, of course. But yeah, that's what we got. So, um, just before I sat down with you guys, when I got that message from Sh Shalina, uh, I went and did really quick tidy, because I had straightened up and folded all that laundry today. You've seen that. Well, you've seen the pictures. Um, so, I vacuumed the playroom. I vacuumed the, play the TV room. I straightened up the bathroom. I straightened up the... Um, dining room. I just need to sweep the kitchen because I just wiped the counters and tables and stove off and sink out. So I just need to sweep the floor and that'll be done. So I know she's in town now. She'll message me when she gets back. So I really can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her in so long. Honestly, we used to hang together so much in high school. Um, yeah, it'll be quite something. We were going to school ever since grade primary together or grade one or something like that. But She's really, really cool lady, so I can't wait to see her. I don't know if I'll be able to bring you guys along. I'll mention it to her, and if she's comfortable, that's cool. If not, I'm sure we'll take a couple pictures together, so I think, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So anyways, I'll be back in a little while. I'm going to go throw all this stuff in the washing machine so it'll be all clean and fresh and uh, good, and uh, then I'll check back in a little while. All right, guys, confession. I, I was feeling not angst. What is it? I just haven't seen my friend in so long. I put some makeup on. It's hard to it's hard to tell. Well, I mean, it's not hard to tell, but it's hard to see. Just some eyeliner on and some mascara and a little bit of uh, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. I didn't do. I don't do lipstick and all those different creams that you put all over your face or anything like that. I've watched different. Uh, 
makeup things before and contouring this and doing that. I have no idea how to do any of that. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll learn, but. And I put some jeans on. Not that she even wouldn't care about that, but I haven't seen her in so long. Um, yeah, I just want to feel good. Feel good, so. Yes, this is my reunion look. All right, guys, well, it's late. It's 11.30. Um, I think something came up with my friend, so we're going to meet tomorrow, I believe. So that's okay. I got to spend time with my husband, and I got a little dolled up, and, you know, I feel good anyway. So, yeah, um, tomorrow's Friday, the day before the weekend. Wharf Rat will be in full swing, so I don't know. We might go into town tomorrow evening with the kids, maybe. We'll see, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. Uh, but yeah, pop back tomorrow, we'll be doing something, and if I do get a chance to meet with my friend, I really hope that I can. Um, I'll bring you guys along if I can. But I hope you enjoyed the video today, the Frenchies haul, and just a little jibber-jabber here and there and everything. But yeah, so, yeah, come back for Friday, and we'll kick off the weekend together. Alright guys, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. Yes, I do. Alright guys, you have a good sleep because I know I'm going to and we'll have a good sleep together. Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.